convincing opinion that the Fed is done with raising interest rates. But is that the case? Well, Lucas Santos joining us from ACY. Now, his view. Good to see you. Thank you so much to having me again here. All right. This is in contrast, of course, to what we saw locally with the RBA. But yes. perhaps a perception that Australia is about six months behind the states. Mm. Um, is that fair to say? Because what are you seeing in the states that would indicate to you the Fed is done? Right. So first of all, let's come back two weeks ago, one week ago. Uh, we did had a pause from the Fed, as widely expected, right? Um, it was... 97% priced in the, um, the pause radio on the CMA2, if we look at the CMA2. Um, and on the press conference, because it was widely expected, so the market didn't react much, or the currency um, pair it with the US dollar didn't have much of the move that, you know, maybe one of the um, traders was expecting. But when it came for the press conference, on the first half of the press conference was just, you know, we've, we've paused the rates because this and that. Um, but when it comes from the journalist questions, then the things get seared, right? Because the first question already was, what do you think about the Samba hike? Are we hiking on the Samba or mm. not? It wasn't that, you know, straight question. Um, but she asked at that one of the journalists from Rotus. Um, German Paul answer was very neutral to Dovish. So then the market react as pricing and not the pause in December. Uh, remember, I've been here last time and I thought actually, you know, it would be a neutral but a little bit hawkish in stance from Jerome Paul on the FOMC press conference. I was wrong. And um, indeed, we may have another pause um, in December. So primarily, all the data is coming very weak now. We had NFP coming weaker. We had GDP coming weaker as well from, um, from US. And this is indicating to us that the higher rates are working, as the Jerome Paul said. So we may expect another pause in 13th of December. So when you look at the economic outlook, yep. and I, I know some are now calling it a golden path, not a narrow path, mm. uh, is it still on track to avoid recession then, do you think? No, I don't think. We've, I think, to be honest, well, they will avoid recession until um, most probably first quarter of next year. And that would be it, right? Because... It feels like the, the economy is inflated. All the numbers is always being revised down. So NFP, you know, the, one of the NFP last month, it was expected, sorry, two months ago, it was expected to be um, 170,000 and it came as 320,000. So this is very inflated. And they even, you know, um, um, updated the, the lower numbers as well. So I don't think they will be able, look, if they are able to do that, then congratulations. But I don't think they will um, be able to, you know, get a turnaround from um, recession next year. So futures market pricing in a more than 50% chance now of a rate cut by May. Mm. Is that realistic, do you think? I think um, not in May. I think definitely we will have maybe 25 basis point, not 50 into second half. Sorry, I meant 50% chance. Oh, 50% chance. On, a rate, on oh, the okay. first rate cut. Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I do believe that yeah. they will cut, yeah. but not in May, probably most likely for third quarter or fourth quarter of 2024. Mm. Um, then, yes, uh, we need to see how the other central banks will react to this as well. I don't think they will cut, um, you know, Boy and Bok and all of those others, uh, but it will give a few incentive for what they will do next because the Fed has cut. So what we need to do. Now this week we've had a lot of Fed commentary. Rounded out tonight, we'll yes. hear from Jerome Powell. What, yes. what do you think he needs to say? Right, so yesterday, like tonight, it, it wasn't a real a good speech to be honest because it wasn't the uh, main speech. So. I think we're going to have one more tomorrow yes. or tonight, if yeah. I'm not wrong. This one will be very important. Mm. Um, but yesterday, he, he couldn't mention much about monetary policy. Uh, but I think what he needs to mention is the outlook, what the Fed is expecting for the economy towards December, first quarter of next year. So if they are expecting you know, a reduction on GDP, uh, lower growth or subdue growth, then we may have another pause, another pause, another pause until a cut. Um, but even he say, it would be very strange from us, from the Fed, 
you know, to raise rates again before after two pauses. Mm. So he mentioned that. So this is dovish for me. All right. So I'm going to take as uh, a dovish Fed from now on. Mind you, then you look at the RBA. They rose after what? Uh, Four pauses. Yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> but because they need it. Yeah. Yeah. So again, you know, we did have a 25 basis point. But touching on the RBA now, I think it's going to be the last uh, last race, to be honest. All right. Yeah. Luca, how are you seeing the US dollar at the moment? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's gained another sort of bit of strength uh, in the last few trading sessions. Um, where to now then? Because mm. uh, it, it has been incredibly resilient. Mm. And I guess that's reflected what we're seeing in the US economy. Correct. Um, I was just talking to, to a friend um, just now about the US dollar and how it has been performing um, so strong since July this year, mm. right? So if we look at the chart, uh, you know, we have been DXI, the index, uh, the dollar index, um, from July to um, most October. October now it's very consolidated, the market. Um, but this is strength. I don't think it's, you know, it's going to turn around to a bearish market on US dollar. I guess we may have another month or two, so December and January next year as a bullish US dollar, okay? And this is why I'm selling, I'm short selling um, Aussie dollar against US dollar mm. since uh, probably last uh, month. But anyways, coming back to the, the, the DXY, I do think we may go to 107 again. And if we can brush the 107, then 108, and that would be, that would be it for me.